So on Sunday, I had the privilege of running my first D&D campaign. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my freaking God. I, I can't remember the last time I had that kind of fun. Like, oh, just to play out like the first five minutes of the game. Okay, here's, here's what happened. So I have two screens, as you guys know. So I had two web pages open on this screen where I play my PlayStation games. Um, I had their character sheets and I had the battle map ready to go. On this one, we had Discord running with all the video. And then I had the script that I had written out for everything that was going to happen. And then underneath that, I had music cues to sound off like in uh, Discord. So luckily, as Jordan knows, I took full advantage of my stream deck where I can push a button and it will queue up a music soundtrack that I've picked out as well as sound effects for atmosphere kind of stuff, right? So one button, boom, you're in it. And then I could do all sorts of other things. And then I've got my fun little audio noise maker thing so that, you know, I can queue this up and I sound like a demon. You know, all that kind of fun of stuff. Kind of fun of stuff? Kind of fun of stuff. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> so it was so dope, man. And I was nervous beyond nervous because I don't know if I'm a good writer. I don't know if I'm a good dungeon master. I don't know if I'm a good voice actor, anything like that. And I had people like one of the people in my D&D crew is an actual fan artist for Critical Role. And she's like one of my childhood friends from decades and decades and decades now. So I really wanted to impress. And then the other three players were all uh, coming in from Montreal. And one is like a phenomenal cosplayer. Like they showed me one of their cosplay creations and they were dressed up as Commander Shepard. And I just, oh, I instantly fell in love. And the other girl who's a friend of hers, she cosplays as Liara from Mass Effect. And it was like, you guys are crazy talented. And then lastly, we have a hairstylist who has the most awesome hair where it's like rainbow bright colors throughout the whole thing. They are just incredible. The whole crew is incredible. So if I wasn't stressed before, I totally am now because I'm like, okay, I got impressed. These are the cool kids. I gotta be cool. All right, is everybody ready? Okay, here we go. And I queued up the music. And I would play it for you guys. I would play everything for you guys. But like here we have Base Rebels, who's royalty free. The, the music we play in our D&D stream, so not royalty free. And I started it up and it was just this ominous tone. And I had kind of a voice like this as I talk through the monologue. And as soon as I did that, like I had the script blown up. So I just focus on reading and cues because I had little triggers here that would do one line of dialogue automatically that tied to each of their backstories. And then it would come back to me and I'm describing the fates and everything like that and kind of the plot threads. And then just as everything got quiet, got quiet, I said, let us begin in this like epic voice. And I queued up this one track. If you got, okay, write this down, you guys, write this down because I picked out a theme song for our D&D campaign. It is called The Racketeers by Two Steps From Hell. I can't find it on Spotify, so I found it on YouTube. If you listen to that, start to finish, it is the most epic music. It just gets you pumped, gets you pumped. And I queued that up and that's the only time I could turn back and see their cameras and see their reaction because the whole time I was given this monologue, I was like, uh, are they liking it? They're not making any sound. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and thankfully, one of them had the good sense to do screen capture and they sent me a picture of their reaction and everybody was like, like 10 seconds into me starting it off. It was the most glorious thing. And then the next day they were all writing saying like, my face hurts so much because I was smiling for five hours straight last night and the fan art and everything. I had like, a couple of characters that I just kind of created on the fly and they already did fan art of my character. <laughs> it was so, so good, man. Oh, oh, I cannot wait to get back into it. It was such a good time. Oh. It was one of those things where you wish to God you had the comp, like the good sense to record the audio at least, you know, and that you could share it with the world because it was such 
a fantastic thing. And it wasn't just everything that I was putting out there. It was the way they interacted with each other flawlessly, the way they kind of left things open and I could pick it up and make it incorporated into the story going forward. The way we just had fun in certain moments, you know, and just, oh, it's why I love D and D so much. And finally I get to create the story, you know, like I've created characters and I've played in games before, but there's only been one time with my family for a brief stint where I actually got to create a world and tell a story to my friends, you know? And so, oh, oh, I'm so jazzed. So jazzed. Oh, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of my bag. Wholesome and pure. 